what is up guys today i'm going to be teaching you how to do like a math like trying to solve a math equation using c so i'm using uh this program called code blocks it's a good it's a good uh software to do c programming on so anyways so assuming we have this problem here so right here write a short program to declare and read the appropriate variables then calculate the output of the result of the following expression. So we have square root y minus l to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 2. So let's say we have this problem. So first thing, first thing you want to do is just get ready. So of course include our stream and hashtag include cmath. We're going to be using that. And then hashtag I think we're probably gonna use strings I think so just in case include strings and I'm obviously gonna use using namespace which namespace SC Alright so and then this so first let's get our uh, let's get our variables so we are probably going to be working with some uh, decimals because we have a square root and we have a lot of complete complicated math stuff so we're probably gonna use a double and we are looking for y oops y l and x so let's put that so we are looking for x y and l now you want to get your user to enter the variable so do that see out enter the value of x I'll just put this I just wish well I'm gonna I'm gonna edit the video and put that problem right there so you guys can see it. Uh the value of x and then we are gonna make it print I mean when they answer this question we're gonna name the the thing x so we don't get confused. Alright, so that this is for x so just not to confuse myself i'm just going to put a tab on it now we're going to do the same thing for y and l all right so now that i have three of my uh things uh, once the user is going to write whatever they want to put for X and whatever they're going to want to put for Y and L. This is an appropriate time to uh, do the calculation. So let's just separate these calculations. Go down here. And then we are going to do double. And then we're going to call it length. Oops length equals now here is where it gets a little complicated as you can see oh my god that's not what i wanted to do uh as you can see here we have a square root and then brackets yl so how to write square root is sqrt that's how you spell square root and then when you do it to the power of two you have to write it in the front so uh, first, we can just put the y minus l, which is what we're supposed to do. But to do to the power of 2 for this bracket, you're going to have to go make another bracket for it like this. Power of this. And then comma 2. I believe it is like that. Yeah, I think so. And then do a space here. Plus, what's the problem? plus oh x to the power of two that's easy so same way just x 
And then to make it to the power of two, we have to put pow here and then brackets this. And then we're doing this to what? To the power of two. And then, oh yeah, don't forget to close the bracket here because it's a big bracket. And then output. So once that's done, we're going to ask the program to see out length equals, yeah, length equals, and then print the length. Right here, the, the double that we just made here. And then end the line here. And then don't forget to return zero. And close bracket. And did I put a bracket here? Yeah, okay. Um, I think this is well. I'm just going to test it just to make sure everything's good. Oh, oh, I have another bracket here. I always do that. I don't know why. Uh, oh. Now it should work. There we go. So enter the value of X. Let's just say maybe we want it two. Enter the value of Y. Let's just say maybe three. And then L, let's do it two. And as you can see, you get your answer here with the decimals because we said double. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to do more C++ videos.